Hello gorgeous people, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Kind of. Today's video is very different from my usual stuff. Today we will be watching The Walton Files. This is a classic in the analog horror genre here on YouTube, but I never saw the entire thing. I made a video a few months ago of me watching like the first three episodes and I never really covered it after that. But recently a new episode came out in the series and you guys were begging me to check it out. So I decided to rewatch the entire series from the beginning and watch all the episodes I missed and watch the new episode. And I live streamed it all. So this video right here is just a very slightly edited version of both of those streams combined. This is not like a super deep dive on the Walton Files. This is just my bare bones reaction, but I just wanted to make this video because you guys were requesting I watch the series so much, and I feel like it's one of the only huge series that I've missed out here on YouTube. But one final thing before we do start, my first stream going over the Walton Files again was a huge mess. I was low on sleep. I was a little cranky. Chat was being a little chaotic. I was having technical difficulties. It was really just a mess, and I'm not proud of it, but I already watched the first three episodes in a video. I I already watched the first three episodes in one of these streams. I wasn't going to do it all over again. I mean, what's the point of even reacting at that point? So I'm sorry if the beginning of this isn't my best reaction work, but I promise you that second stream, that second stream, the second half of this video is fire. But I just want to apologize for that. It's definitely not my best work and I'm not very proud of it. That's why I didn't keep up the VOD for that stream. I did try to cut out a lot of the stupid moments that happened during that stream. So hopefully you do enjoy this entire video on its own. But all right, all right, all right, enough yapping. You want to see the Walton Files and my reaction to it. Let's jump right in. Foreign music. Hi, and welcome to the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. You have applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. What does this job particularly hey, mean? It means that you, amongst girl. other employees, are the ones <laughs> welcome who in. Have you made it today? A magical and fun experience for Bond's Burgers. Thank you so much for the super chat. I'm pretty sure I said this in my YouTube video on it. Who thought this was a good idea? Making this thing with teeth like that and with eyes like that. This thing looks like it's off of like 10 different drugs. I don't care how much it is. These are the showstoppers. Bond, Shaw, Buzu, and Banny, a computer animated band made by BSI to entertain children. As a technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. Around this fun and magical journey, we'll work on certain tasks, such as cleaning protocols, robot maintenance and repair, and learning how to use BSI technology. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved founder. Which reads, in BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this dream with you. Howard. Storage facility K9, save, restore, secure. The BSI storage facility, also known as K9, is a company project to storage all valuable items from the closed for good Bonds Burgers restaurant. 
Given the situations about the incidents inside the 1974 Bonsberger's location, any type of props, animatronics, and arcade machines will be carefully moved, inspected, and secured inside a bunker located deep down in St. Joanna's Forest for good. A facility caretaker will take care of securing the facility and keeping it safe and working properly. I do know that the canine storage facility is important and that it's visited in some of the later videos. Hold on. I just want to go back to get all these guys' names because I know I'm going to forget for sure. These are the showstoppers. Bond. Okay, so Bond was the first one, right? I'm going to like write their names down and then put like little drawings next to them. So there's Bond. Which is the bunny? Shaw. Shaw. Buzu and Banny. Okay. Shaw. Buzu and Banny. Okay, so Banny's also like some rabbit. What is Bond's Bond Buzu? <laughs> Alright, Shaw's like a sheep, right? And Shaw. Is Shaw just like I mean, is Boozu just like a human? Boozu is a human. Copy. It's a little odd. And then uh, I want to get the two um, creators' names. But first, message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken. Jack Walton, Felix Kranken. Is that in reverse? Little Bond's Neighborhood, 1979 Sunlight Animation. Written by Sarah Evelyn. It's a brand new day in Little Bond's Neighborhood, and a really special one for sure. Little Bond has been waiting all day for his friends to arrive. He is planning to have a sleepover with them. He has everything set up for the perfect movie night with his friends. For this sleepover, he invited Shah, Boozoo, and Billy. Let's check again in case we don't- Who is Billy? My boy Billy the Clown. We gotta write him down too. Oh, that must be them. Now that everyone has arrived, I suppose it's time for the movie night to begin. Bond spent all his money on a really funny movie, which he and his friends will enjoy and will laugh with little Bond. And friends watched the movie. I guess we can say they had a blast of a time. Once the night dropped, they all ate. Where's Pepe Marcus? I killed him and threw him in a blender. You'll never see him again. It says last scene on the bottom there. I don't know what else it says though. A lighter. Archives for the work history, something like that. I honestly have no clue because 
five thirty working here. It's really actually fun to go in there right now. But <coughs> but they gave me this weird location. There's somewhere in a forest, I think, to work at. And I've been driving for twenty minutes. I can find a place. I made it to the location. Thank you, Kaylee. Okay, so this guy's at the canine storage facility now. The one that we just read about before. Chris told me this place hasn't been working since about 78, 79, somewhere I'm in. And that was four years ago, I think. So, chances are, it's gonna smell horrendous. Some family photos hanging up. They're not paintings, they're photos, I'm pretty sure, on the wall. Um, I'm not mad, I'm trying to level out the audio so you guys don't go deaf. <laughs> Yes, they are inside the storage facility now. It's so hard to hear this part. So I believe right now he's just like testing out the robot, seeing if it works. That's not cute. <laughs> what was that thing? RIP. I can't feel anything. He thought I was her. Hello, my name is Brian Stella. And I work as facility caretaker. So, oh, Brian Stella's not Stella, my bad. And that's Jack, right? Guys, what if FNAF is based off the Walton Files sinking face? <laughs> True. What if FNAF is based on the Walton Files? And the credits. Okay. So we learn a little bit about Bond's Burgers. And we check out some of their animatronics in this one. Who are Bon, Shaw, Buzu, and Banny. 
And then we see like a little, oh, we learn about the founders as well. Jack Walton and Felix Kranken. This is Jack Walton. This is Felix Kranken. Uh, and then we learn that there's like a storage facility, which is where I, I believe where they keep all the animatronics because Bond's Burgers did close. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> never mind. It actually says it right here. I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, Bond's Burgers did close. So I'm guessing that they keep all the animatronics in here. So this guy, Brian Stells, goes to check him out. And as you obviously just saw, our boy Bond here takes a chunk out of him and kills him. It's actually a really, really nice piece, this, this drawing and just the way that Bond moves here, like he's shaking. Really, really well done. Are they on? Too many. Yeah, it sounded it sounded like you took a chunk out of him, but I guess it could have been a crack too. Hold on, let's let's see. Are you planning on watching the fourth episode? Yes, we might not get to it today, but if we don't get to it today, I'll watch it tomorrow. <laughs> what was that thing? Yeah, that noise sounds crazy. Immediately off the jump, like I said, I watched the first three episodes, but I have very very little memory of all three of them. It's slowly coming back to me. Jack Walton definitely giving off the villain vibe here with uh, the way that his smile is, especially after we just saw Bond do what he did. So it definitely seems like Brian Stells is dead. We also then definitely get like this little animation, which is also a little odd. Who did it say it was by? Written by Sarah Evelyn, which is a name I did write down. So I feel like we might have to know that for later. And we learn that Bond's friends are coming over, and we we meet another one, which is Billy. Not sure what happened to Banny, but Billy's here. And Billy honestly looks more demented than the three of them. Yeah, guys, please don't forget to uh to drop a like on the stream. The more likes on the stream, the more it like helps the algorithm so we can get more people in here. So it's greatly appreciated if you guys do that. Um, and then there's a lot of reversed audio here, but I <laughs> does anybody know what the reversed audio says? Old design of Banny? Possibly. I doubt it though. It's a completely different design. Missing poster doesn't have any secret messages. Yeah. So someone said, uh, obviously you see missing Jack Walton on the poster here. And it says last seen and someone someone in chat said that it was last seen on June 11th, 1974. The pills. Wait, am I did I miss something? What did I miss? Oh, I see the pills. And the TV says, let me out of here. So someone's stuck in TV. <laughs> I'm guessing, right? Let me out of here. Bonnie, 1978 and Sophie Walton. So Sophie Walton, I'm guessing, is Jack Walton's daughter or wife. I want to say daughter. It's not as much the TV as it's something. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like dive into it, but also not too much dive into it because a lot of what we're going over today, most of you guys already know. But we do, yeah, we get this lighter thing where Bond grabs a lighter here and then obviously you see like this person looks like a security guard or something and then we see Bond behind them. Bond or Banny? Is this Banny? Zamash. This is Banny, right? Because the ears are hanging down. Does the hat say Sophie? I can't even increase the quality to see it. Oh, actually, you know what? Now that you say that, I do kind of see the S and the O here. 
Yeah, that makes okay. That makes sense. So this is Sophie. No, I think it's Bond. Bond for sure. Oh, because of okay, 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 okay. So this is Sophie, and then this is Bond. Okay. Yo, Marcus, glad to see why covering the Walton files. It's my fab analog horror. The new episode is fire. Hope why enjoy. Stay healthy and much love. Thank Less you, Fruity Snack. Three. Yeah, I heard the new episode goes crazy. I am so, so proud of you and how far you have come. Keep up the good work, Marcus. Less than three. What's going on, Llama? Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you. Thank you so, so much for coming by. I appreciate the kind words, Llama. Seriously, thank you. For the reverse dialogue, it says you finally started to remember that old doll. They will be back for you soon, Sophie. Yeah, I heard that, um... I heard that this is a re-upload and the original upload was better because it had captions and stuff like that, but I had to get a re-upload because something about copyrighted music was in it. Which is so tragic. It would be nice to get the, uh, to get the old captions, though, obviously, for new people trying to watch, but... I get it. It may also be saying that old day. It's really hard to tell. Okay, see, we got captions for this. My That's what I'm talking about. My friend is trying about. to sue me for saying, just do it. Good, I hope he wins. They're not canon, it's just for fun. Depending on how much we get through today, maybe we'll watch like the fun, the, the extra episodes tomorrow. Accompanied by Cyber Fun Tech, 1970 blank. Funny Smiles Inc. Hello, BSI members and employees. And welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bond's Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles Company for the better. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the tragic closure of Bond's Burgers back in July. By 20th, 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the Relocate Project. Is that but Felix? Before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way. Let's start analyzing the relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous tapes, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appeared, such as books, merch, animated movies, we even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram the robots of Bond's Burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not-so-distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bond's Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. Why is he hyping himself up like that? Not only a man with a giant brain, but also a man with a giant heart. Like, okay. I was gonna just let it play out. I can't do it. It's too much. Can't do it. The mouth is a pre-relocate feature. However, it still requires checking since the reprogramming could have affected this feature. This feature is brand new. Relocate project exclusive. Employees must always clean the eye socket. A dirty eye could affect the blink feature. Oh, I don't like that they blink. I think I'd rather them stare. No 
destroyed board? Surprised. Looking for friends. Uh, you looking around for friends quite a lot, aren't you? Oh, surprised? think the rabbit's hungry? D do you think it's starving? The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is 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 Oh, that, that's historical footage of rabbits dying in a dust bowl, you said? Bunny Smiles Inc. Technical Support, 1978. Welcome to Technical Support. Hi! Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the Bunny Smiles storage facility. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Bunny Smiles uniform. Um, but most importantly, all of you must always under any circumstance use your VSI ID card. Brian Stells. Equipment at hand. We are ready to go. Hello. I see you made it to the storage facility. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. Definitely nervous. But let's stop and think. Do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? Do I? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9. Lantern? Check. Snacks? Check. Tea? The check. love your mom on the bag. Check. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I do not remember that. <laughs> oh my god. It's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the My lights are on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it 
it's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. Gotcha. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers, you name it. Remember to always keep this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. That makes sense. This is pretty logical so far. That seems like an error in the tape. All right, this is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bond's Burgers restaurant. The third door is used to hide... To hide what? Sound like hide, right? Welcome to the basement. Right Thank now, you, Shaw. You are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. Burger restaurant. Remember to avoid touching or shining lights at our robots unless you are a facility technician. Now let's move on to the next room. How odd. I remember we visited this room already. We did visit this room already. By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Rose broken. We'll fix you. You were beautiful. You were beautiful. You were beautiful. So was that Jack Walton's wife? What did it say here? By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rabbit. Missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rabbit. And then uh, the rabbit obviously kills her or rips her into pieces and then throws her into the Shaw animatronic. Rosemary Walton, copy. Thank you, Mr. Void. The following footage was recorded during July, 1978, uh, July 12th to July 14th, on which three Bunny Smiles technicians volunteered to stay three days in the BSI storage facility for the purpose of reprogram the animatronics in order to execute the relocate project. So yeah, they were talking about how they want to relocate the animatronics to the new place, right? Because they want to open up a new restaurant, but they wanted to do some additional reprogramming to the animatronics. Like they said, they added the blink feature, right? To some of them. So I guess they sent these three guys to go over there, fix the animatronics so that they could be prepped to then move over to the, to the new place. The employees left to right are Hillary, Ashley, and Kevin. The next footage shows the three employees restoring the Bonds Burgers 1974 animatronics. The place itself was open during a short period of time, in which um, a certain number of cases occurred around the area. Huh. Yeah. And there were complaints from people that lived near the restaurant about the place playing music during the night. Two or three in the morning. Along with the lights. The underscore the Apple underscore iBad has become a member. Really Thank you for becoming a member. But yeah, the place closed after people reported during the screams of the adult woman. So yeah, yeah. Keep up the good work. Some hours after that, the case was reported. Thank you, Rosemary. Residents decided to close the stores. Probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Um, what's weird?
bigger about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let like one or two families in. And they mentioned later that the animatronics, like the entertainers, were completely absent and the curtains were closed. Well, that's odd. Fuck. This floor reminds me of the movie. The, uh. It's like this chainsaw mask. I think you change these pieces with the new ones. Don't you think I should take some time? Can I call you Marky? No. I mean, yes. But I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point, that's the point of this whole project, right? I, mean, um, I think we should restore yes. as much as we can, but thanks. Yes, but if we keep releasing all these small details, the reprogramming of the robots won't be finished. Hey, Kevin. I thought we can add the blinked eyes feature on this one. I talk it to really Danish. I'm also if someone did this intentionally. I think all these holes in the suit and stuff were made after the closing. What do you mean? When the place closed down, some of the tests, the company who created the robots, had to revise them after noticing a good amount of irregularities in them. During the process, they probably did this mess to get to the end of sales. Good night, guys. I don't understand how they expect to relocate. These things are destroyed, like annihilated. You might as well just build complete new ones at this point. Why even try to use or reprogram the old ones? It'd probably be so much easier to just make brand new ones. Look at this key. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentions its purpose? I mean, why would they give us a key? We love you, Marcus. You're very appreciated. <laughs> Thank you, Kodai. Wait, was that? No. Yes, that was Kodai. Thank you. Right. Good night. Hello, this will probably be the last party today before we leave. So, yeah. Bad news, the programming phase was unsuccessful. We had a lot of inconveniences when we tried to restore the robot, some damaged parts in the end of the the models made it impossible to add the new features, and let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Not a surprise. Yeah. We hope we can go back with better equipment and better deadline. As Hillary said, we begged the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan, but for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the uh, uh, re 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 relocation project. And log. Hey guys, this is Ashley. I'm using the camera because I am planning to buy her where this key leads to. I'm sure whatever this key hides could save the project. I will show this footage to you guys once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. This is that dumb character in the horror movies that goes off on their own and dies. <laughs> this is why you never do this stuff, chat. Ever. Ever. In any case where you are doing some creepy type of stuff, whatever it be. Like, obviously, they didn't walk into this situation thinking that they could die. But you know you're in a creepy place. Do not go off on your own. <laughs> Especially like, oh, they gave us this key. I think it could be what saves the project. I mean, feel free to think that. But like... Don't go on your own. It took me a while, but I realized the key leads to this door. They have back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. Uh, I'm gonna... This is bigger than I thought. I don't think I have enough time, so I'll just try and pick random doors and see what's inside. There are a ton of empty rooms with boring stuff. I came across this door, which, uh, which was open. Kind of weird. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces, and from the looks of it, some onion skin I guess? I won't go into detail about what I find, since I'm in a rush, of course, and... Uh, this place is a bit scary. Room number 26 or 27, I, I think. Um, as you can see here, there are some, uh, spare heads. Nothing I'm interested in to be on. <laughs> Thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a closer. 
Um, I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So I guess I'll have to be brave and uh, try and see what this whole thing is. Is that clown one Billy? They look similar. I don't really know why this dude has cassette player thing installed. But my guess is that it's used for, um, for birthday parties. Like, you know, play a customized tape or something? I don't know. But we're about to find out. Just named off family members? Jack. What did it say? Jack, Sophie, Rosemary? R.I.P. Hello, I'm Billy, the funny movie clown. Do I, 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 I see you, sir? If not, then we're going to be lying to us. They lost me, no, 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 no. I don't remember that. What did that say? Hold up. Run it back. They left the next day. They thought Ashley left early, but she was in the back doors screaming as much as she could, but no one heard the screams. The following days, the caretakers could, would complain about an awful smell coming from the back doors. The company decided to shut down the facility until new adv advice. The relocate project was unsuccessful. Ashley's still there, but she's not screaming anymore. She saw something she wasn't supposed to see, and now she's beautiful. Yeah, we just watched someone die, chat, but listen to this awesome music in the credits. Alright chat, lucky you, we got another video. Get it? Do you get it? Because the video is called Lucky You. I'm sorry. Now we're watching this one. Bonds Burgers, come join the party. Opening day, June 28th, 1974. Wait, that's when Bonds Burgers opened? Last shows were foreclosure. Wait. July 10th, July 19th, 1974 was the last show before closure. And the place opened on June 28th, 1974? That can't be right. It was only open like two to three weeks?
Yeah, thank you for the smiles. Bonds Burgers, June 28th, 1974 to July 20th, 1974. You're telling me they spent all this money opening this place and then it closed in less than a month? Oh, true. It did say... That's right. Jack did go missing in that time, right? So... I guess one of the co-owners going missing makes sense. But damn... October 31st, 1974. Bond's still chilling in there. Then December 10th, 1974. Alright, so then obviously they took everything from the closed place, put it in the storage facility. January 23rd, 1975. This is what that said, right? Okay, there is no caption, so let's just make it sure. You must be so confused about what you saw. Don't be scared, my little bunny. Answers will be given eventually, but don't try to solve this puzzle only with the pieces you have so far. This is only the beginning. For I'm going to tell you a story of broken people, beautiful people. He is so sorry about what he did to them, but there's nothing you can do. Remember that. Safety and pills, Sophie. 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 Safety of Okay, you see, I made them beautiful. I don't know how. I didn't even mean to, but I did. They tried to talk to us through analog. Through analog horror? <laughs> be heard. This is their cry for help. Besides, they want us to know what happened that year. But we must be patient. Look. They are filled with life. They dance to the music. They laugh and sing along. They're perfect. They are beautiful. They will see you soon, Sophie. That beat went hard. I'm excited for this. This is an hour long movie kind of thing. Also, let me know if the volume's too low or too high. I keep trying to adjust it because the videos have like different volumes. Now, we're in brand new territory for me. Sophie Walton, 22 years old, born 1960. Jenny Letterson, 26 year old, years old. Footage from October 15th, 1982. Thank you, Unknown Reaper. 
Funny Smiles Games, Cyber Fun Tech 1982. Funny Smiles Incorporated Beta Tester, Golden Ticket. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, this is the game I wanted to show you, Sophie. Oh, huh. nice. Yeah, I played it for a while. Thought you would enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks. Also, uh, they installed the machine in the basement of the building not so long ago, so please try to be careful. The janitor told me these are hella expensive. And delicate, too. Oh, I see. So, do I start the game? Yeah, let's go. Right, so you gotta choose a name now. <laughs> I see your name over there. <laughs> yeah, but the idea is that you play the game from scratch. <laughs> I see. Uh, put my name over here then. So, fuck. Oh, shit, I can't so go back. <laughs> nice, nice. Dumbass. <laughs> Soapy? Oh, nah. Huh. All right, gang, gather around. Oh, hell nah. Fire the voice actor. Get a new one. That sounds like my joke voice. All right, guys, gather around. Look at this carrot I have in my head. What is it, Mr. B? Yeah, what is it, Bob? Oh, don't tell me you guys forgot about today. By the way, I'm not, I'm not talking shit about the actual voice actor. I'm saying, like, in context to the series. <laughs> Anyone else aside from Benny? <sighs> All right, Benny. What day is it today? Right. Today is the annual fruit festival. We do a huge party on the restaurant every year. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, heavens, me too. Well, I'm sure this party is much better than last year's, right? Well, uh, I need all of you to put your fruits in these baskets. You guys want fruits. Uh, no. Oh heavens, what are we gonna do? Oh no! Is the fruit festival cancelled, Mr. B? I hope B? you have a good day, it's okay for a break. Thank you again, Unknown Reaper. I don't know why the alerts are playing 30 minutes later, but I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, you dumb salamanders. Important. Hell, I couldn't help but notice you guys need fruits real quick. My barn's filled with all kinds of fruits. Say, why don't you guys do me a small favors, and I'll give you all the fruits you need. Yes! Barn adventure! I love barns! I want to see the pigs and the chickens and the animals and the barns and the pigs! Mm. All right, Pete. We'll help. That'll be fun. All of us working. Really? What? Well, what? Oh, hell no. Nah, kick bro out of the function. Hell no. Hell no. I, the character's personalities are hilarious, by the way. Benny's so annoying. <laughs> what? Well, what do we mean? Pete the hippo. Hmm. You know, something I like about the game is the, uh, the artwork. Facts. I don't know why, but there is something about it that seems uh, really familiar to me. Huh. Okay, alright. I, I already have questions. So, this is 1982. Isn't this, like, super... Like, Bond's Burgers already closed. They already attempted the relocate project, right? So... And I feel like by this point, a bunch of things has probably happened to Sophie already, right? Are her pills like making her forget stuff that she knew already? And that's why she's saying it looks familiar to her? Because obviously they made a huge point of saying that she takes pills. Purpose of the game is revealed later in the video. Gotcha. All right. 
Let's see. Right, I should show you the controls so you don't have a hard time playing later on. Mm, all right. Okay, okay, so you use this thing to move around. Mm, okay. And you use these buttons to interact with stuff. Yeah. I have both. Yeah, I've played this game for a while, a few mm -hmm. years ago, and I noticed a, a bit of stuff. Yeah? Yeah, this game looks very unfinished. <laughs> I saw a ton of errors and shit while playing the levels, and it crashed a couple of times, too. Huh. RIP. That's strange, but then again, the game did clarify it was a beta test when we turned on the machine. I'd pay for member, but yeah, I'm running low on fun space with machine, cold sweat. They clarified that as well, but here's the thing. These glitches are very... freaky. I, I appreciate it, Isaiah, still. Thank you so much for the super chat. I, I appreciate your support. Regardless. If I'm totally honest, um, that's why I wanted to show you this in the first place. I know you're into that BSI? kind of... BSI? Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Have I heard that name before? I mean, that company has been pretty relevant these past few weeks. Didn't you hear? What? What happened? Some weird rumors and shit. Apparently, there was this one employee that drove to some forest a few days ago. Not too far away from here, actually. He hasn't been seen around ever since he drove to that place. Really? Yeah. The work so this takes place only a few days after the whole Brian incident? Interesting. I got out quickly. Some family members say it was his first day. What's his name? Um... Brian, I think? Okay. <laughs> well, I... I need to stop pausing. That, right? Same. Well, who knows? Maybe he's okay. I mean, it's been a while since he was last seen, right? Brighton's not that big of a town anyways. They would have found him by now. Reminds me of this other girl. There's more? This young employee named Ashley, young adult, very pretty. <laughs> she became some sort of urban legend around here. Why? People say she died inside of some old bunker from the company. Her body was never found. Most say she was privately buried. Others say she's still inside that place. Sounds like a made up story to get little kids away from that forest. And we should probably just continue with the game. <laughs> yeah, who wants to hear about this kind of shit while playing some little child's game, right? I do. You good, Sophie? Oh, yeah, I was just... <laughs> Did you hear the child screaming? Bobble the Hippo was the original owner of the town. He had two sons, Pete the Hippo and Johnny the Hippo. Bobby made the promise of creating the best quality barn in the world. R.E.P. Bobby. Older year, other year. <laughs> yeah, that was my sister. Thinking about, um... Anyways, so do I have to, like... Do I have to go to a certain character, or...? Ah, um, if you get close to a certain character, it'll let you access their level. Oh, neat. Eh, I don't like this one. It looks boring. Aw, she's my favorite character. Oh well, it's up to you, really. That's a lot of cows. If this kid screams outside of my door one more time, I'm gonna open my door and drop kick her. Apples. I like apples too. <laughs> oh nah, get away from Billy. Hell no, get away from Billy. This guy's like a red one. flag. Alrighty. Of course you do. This one? Uh, 
<laughs> See, I told you this game was a little broken. I can tell. You know, I keep thinking about Bunny Smiles. It sounds so familiar. This game is bringing back so many memories, but it's so hard to just remember exactly. Ah. Uh. Sorry, uh. I'm probably just boring you with random thoughts of mine. I'll stop. No, 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 not at all, Sophie. However, I do, uh, I gotta do some other stuff. I got this one essay I need to finish. I'll see you around. Oh, all right. Just talk to me in case you have any questions regarding the game, okay? Yeah, yeah, sh Hi, Barn. Wait, shouldn't you be in the barn with the rest of the gang? Yeah, everything's perfect. I'm supposed to solve this party, but most of the stuff I need is located in the ridiculously complex puzzles. Say, could you help me out to solve the puzzles? Alright, first we need to get the party hats. They should be in the big... Alright, good track. Now we need... Grab this. Is that clear even there? I don't like that the real one was in the background there for a right. second. How do I... What am I looking at? <laughs> it looks like he's dancing to the music. Alright, first we need to get the party hats. They should be in the basement. broken more than I thought. What the hell? Yeah, just a little broken. Do I have to... Oh, I see. All of the music is so fire. No, there I'm stupid. Go. Um Bro, someone's gotta put me down. <laughs> There's no way. There we go. I was talking about this to another YouTuber the other day. I think you actually gain like plus 90% stupidity when you're live streaming. Like, I don't know what it is, but man, I'll like, like even when it comes to games and stuff, if I'm doing a puzzle game on stream, I am like brain dead 
but then if i were to do it off stream i could probably do it in like two seconds i don't know what it is but i i had a discussion with this with another i thought it was only me but i talked to another youtuber about it and they were like yeah for some reason i think yeah i think maybe it's like underlying pressure like i don't feel pressured right now but like i think it is like a maybe like in the back of your mind it's like you know that there's people watching so it does put more pressure on you but like i i can't believe i just made that mistake that's insane yeah maybe overthinking too uh, what's that Jenny? Footage from October. Wait, what was that? Exactly happened yesterday. Wait, what? What date was that? October sixteenth, nineteen eighty-two. What exactly happened yesterday? I don't know. The game just—it just crashed. I was playing, and the game just kept showing weird visuals. Huh. Yeah, it was so weird. Like if I was being told something, I guess. Huh. Like a message? Maybe. <laughs> what? So you think this game is haunted or something? I, I don't know. Maybe the time where I was playing and there would be times which I would do certain stuff that would cause the game to glitch and display some bizarre visuals and stuff. Anyways, it's getting very late. You sure you want to play right now? Why not just wait so we can play together tomorrow morning? I mean, you can go to sleep if you want, Jenny. Alright. Good night, Sophie. Good night. Alright, let's start this. Fuck. Don't tell me I lost all my progress. It's been corrupted. I, I'm not entering that clan level again. Think. This, this is a save where the glitch occurred, and I really feel like I should dig deeper into this. I'm expecting to see a bunch of glitches since, like, the save file is corrupted, so, yeah. Huh. Banny. Those are pigs. <laughs> Hippo house. Whoa! Pretty fun place! Why, hello there! Whoa! Pretty horse girl! I'm supposing you two are here to help me feed the pigs, right? Yes, you speak my love pigs. I want to feed them and take care of them and play with them and dance with them and laugh at them and play with them. <laughs> All right. I need you two to pay attention to what I say and follow the instructions I give you. Okay, so, first of all, do not open the cages unless I tell you to. Wouldn't it be funny if I opened the cage? I think it would be really funny. I think it would be really, really funny. Yeah, I think I'm gonna open the cage now. Yeah. Bro, you had one job. Oh no, Banny! What have you done? All the pigs have escaped to the hippo house. Banny, you dumb bunny. I I'm I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. It looks
looks like they each entered a different door. We'll have to find keys for each door. Okay, so basically we'll have to catch the pigs, I think. Okay, huh. Gotta find the keys for these doors. Already starting to notice a few errors. Mm. I see the blue key under that coach. Mm, gotta find a way to get to it though. Uh, Solitude Stigma. Hey, Mr. Marcus, I hope you feel better later on. I got called in for a work emergency, so I have to bounce. The Walton Files is very overstimulating. <laughs> Everyone make sure to take rest for your brain. <laughs> True. The Solitude Stigma, thank you so much for the $10 super chat, and uh, good luck with the work emergency. I hope it's nothing too bad. But uh, good luck at work, and thank you. thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it, and I appreciate the kind words as well. Thank you. What if you take this? Shit, it worked. Hey, Mr. Marcus. I hope you feel better later on. I got called in for a work emergency, so I have to bounce. The Walton Files is very overstimulating. Everyone make sure to take rests for your brain. Sparkling Thank heart. Thank you, the solitude sticker. Uh, I want to just go back right. there. Should lead to this door. Okay. So she found the key for door one. to do yeah there we go I noticed that these errors act in a certain way as if that unknown error mentioned earlier was something or someone trying to talk to me or trying to get me to do something like, if whatever is going on wants to get me to do something, because... Especially because these have all occurred when I interact with the characters, could it have something to do with them? I've also noticed that I talk to myself a lot. Susan Woodings. <clears throat> BSI Technical Support, audio log number three, uh, June 30th, 1974. Jeremy's birthday party finished an hour ago. I decided to stay and help the employers clean the place. This week has uh, been uh, strange, especially because of the opening. Uh, I find it weird that they opened the place even though Mr. Walton disappeared a few weeks ago. I hope he's doing all right. Rosemary came in today and asked if we'd seen him around. Uh, I'm pretty worried about it. Felix seems very concerned and worried too. Uh, uh, anyway, the birthday party. Uh, the birthday party, yes. Uh, everything went according to plan. Uh, this was the first birthday party in the restaurant, and I feel it turned out pretty well. Uh, I noticed a few irregularities in the stage and in the audio animatronics. As the engineer and the person who basically built the animatronics to begin with, it was easier to notice these, uh, it, especially in Bond. Uh, that something something fell off. Uh, the limbs weren't moving properly. 
They look stiff and awed, mainly in his right arm. I take a few more minutes to take him to the backstage, just to make sure everything's okay. I'm the only one left. Uh, Chris left some hours ago, and Felix didn't even show up. I'll leave and close the restaurant when I'm finished. I'm sure it's not going to take long. I think we all know how this is about to go. Oh, this is the face that was on Benny a few videos ago. Yep. Oh, nah. I am still alive, but I can't move. And I'm having trouble breathing. And my stomach feels weird. Level complete. Good job, Soapy. You just made Susan beautiful. So, like, at one point, do you just say, like, uh, I'm done playing this game. <laughs> I would not be playing this anymore, dude. Especially, like, Okay, the first couple glitches, whatever, but that one, that's wild. Uh, but that was very confusing and, and scary, but it felt like I was being told a story or a certain event. I mean, clearly I was, but, um, yeah. Thing is, the pills have been making me forget a lot of stuff from my teenage years and my childhood, and like I started taking them for a reason, but I really don't want to think about it. Mm. Was there something always standing here on the left? Like last time she looked at this? I only noticed the silhouette here now. <gasps> Lyndon Crankin Thompson, do not touch. October 30th, 1964. Felix has been acting very weird lately. He's been drinking more than usual. I'm very worried about him. I don't know what to do. He came home at 4 a.m. He was crying. He seemed very unstable and stressed. I don't know what to do. Hey, Turtle Lover, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Much, much appreciated. To Spooky Platypus, Autumn Moon, Alex Blackrose, Neri, and Ari. Thank you so, so much, Turtle Lover. I appreciate that. Also, M. Vlad, thank you for the gifted membership earlier. I'm sorry I didn't get to say it before, but thank you, M. Vlad.
Welcome in, Turtle Lover. Happy to have you here today. Ah, stop it. August 23rd, 1965. I know I haven't talked here as much as I used to. This month has been so, so, so crazy. I moved in with Felix last week. He was very happy about it. Yesterday, Jack and Rose had their third child, a little girl. Her name is Molly, Molly Walton. Jack and Felix have been pitching up the restaurant idea with a company that's interested in the project. The name's Cyber Fun Tech. Hmm. Okay. Molly Walton, huh? Interesting. December 26, 1970. Christmas was nice. They built a doll, a gray rabbit, for Ed and Molly. Molly named it Rocket. Felix drank a lot yesterday. This has been a problem for a while. He's a good person, but he doesn't want to address this. It's getting worse and worse, but he doesn't notice. He feels bad about it, but doesn't try to change. January 3rd, 1973. It's getting worse. He's so submerged with their project that he doesn't realize how much damage he's doing to himself. How much damage he's doing to me. He keeps going places only to drink. Sometimes he even stays at the warehouse for the sole purpose of drinking. He doesn't listen. He never listens. I don't know what to do. Oh, of course I don't get a I don't get a text for that one. Looks like it says I don't know what to do now. So what blank meh is I just cannot May 2nd, 1974. Dear Felix, by the time you're reading this, I shouldn't be home. I know you're confused. I'm confused too. What you said to me last week hurt me a lot, but it opened my eyes. Hopefully this opens yours too. Our relationship isn't healthy. It never was. I'm leaving Brighton this morning. You're in the warehouse with Jack and the others as I'm writing this. By the time you're reading this, I'll already be in a hurricane. Damn. Your wife left you, bro. Get your shite together. I mean, it's too late now. I I shouldn't be reading this. Hey, 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 hey. I know you're busy today doing Jack a favor. Something related to a school party? I can't remember, but please go there. But please go there when you have the time. As to me, I'll try to build my own life while I still can. You should do that too. I love you. Goodbye, Linda. I'm sorry, Linda. I am sorry. Shouldn't be reading this. I am sorry.
Lily's birthday. Mon, what a wonderful surprise. I'm supposing you're here to help me set up Lily's birthday party, right? <laughs> wonderful. You see, I need someone to help me set up the games for the party. Say, why don't you help me set up the games? What do you think? Fantastic. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. It'll be lots of fun. Will it be? The swords in the background are not real. Most of them are plastic. The only real one is the Sasuke sword, which is that one at the end of my finger. And even that's like pretty dull. The rest are plastic though. Again, I feel like this could be related to a person trying to tell the player something, maybe even a ghost, because this game really makes it seem like the people shown on screen died. This game is extremely scuffed. <laughs> I'm surprised Sophie's still playing it. But I guess she realizes that she's slowly remembering things, so it's making her want to play it more. I did see a little shadow at the end there, right? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up. Get ready for entertainment like you've never seen before. Start with something simple. Memorize. Take a close look at this picture. Time's up. Let's play. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Go back, go back, go back. I want to redo it. I want to redo it. Hold up. Start with something simple. Memorize. Take a close look at this picture. Time's up. Let's okay. play. Top left? Oh my god, I'm so good. Well done. Uh, middle left. Oh, goofball. Oh dear. Oh, I was right. I was right. Nah, I'm cracked at this right now. To left. No. I mean, yeah, that one too, though. That one too. Yep. Oh, dear. What do you mean, oh, dear? That was right, bro. What? And the one next to it. Yep. There was four of them. Well done. Well done. Toxicality okay. has become a member. And that one. Toxicality, thank you for becoming a member. Huh? Oh my god, it's a damn it's a stupid text to speech. Thank you for becoming a member though, Toxicality. Don't worry, I'm gonna go over the super chats after after we finish this video. Oh What do you mean, oh dear? Why is he saying that's wrong? Congratulations! You're very good at this. Right. It's time for the real game. Let's play Spot the Differences. <laughs> Yay! This was a bit hard. Not for me. I'm a pro. Look at this image. 
Look at this image. Okay, it's the letters on the on the on the front, um, the colors on the hat, the number of apples, you the number of clouds. The Good job. Nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. No, nope. try it again. Well, that's not the. You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. My bad, chat. I just realized you nope. can't see. <laughs> that's not the difference. You spotted try a again. difference. Good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. That's all of them, right? Move on to the next image, shall we? Yep. Look at this image. Look at this image. Okay, the shadow in the backgrounds, the color of the you bow. You spotted a difference. Good job. Huh? You spotted a difference. Oh, the color of the snow. Good job. Nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. Uh, try it again, which. Soapy, the, the shadow in the difference. background. Good job. You there we go. The difference. Yes, let's move on to the next image. Look at this image. Not Billy. You spotted a difference. The nose, the Good eyes, job. the thing in the hand. You spotted a difference. The Good toys job. at the bottom are sad. Nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. Uh, try again. Which uh, the buttons. You spotted a difference. Good job. You. Yeah, I personally think the yellow snow should have been the correct one. That's the best kind of snow. There's a lot of differences there. Nope. That's not nope. the difference. That's not the difference. Congratulations! You completed my, my game! Now, time for the prizes! Yeah, what's, what's, what's the prize for winning? Oh, we're playing as him now, with no face. Missing the old seven fourteen. 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 Missing the old. <laughs> Rose Loki dropping a beat there. Oh. This is kind of starting to make more sense to me. I mean, as much sense as something like something like this can make. Okay, fair. Now, me personally, even if I... I mean, I actually can't speak for this, but I feel like if I was in a situation where I took drugs that made me forget things and then I found a random arcade game, started playing it, and then like things started to seem familiar, but also was presented to me in this nightmare style, I probably would have stopped playing this game a long time ago still. Just me personally. <laughs> I don't care how familiar it is. I would have been like, mm, people with messed up faces in a kid's game? Something's uh, wrong. Actually, I'm lying my ass off. If I were to find one of these games, I would have I would have tried to deep dive into it and figure it out. I'm, I'm lying. My bad. These are all faces of uh, people. People that I think I knew when I was younger. I knew these people, and for some reason, my brain just forgot about them, or... Oh, she... Okay. That makes sense, too, that the people are, like, super familiar to her just themselves. Um, Yeah, no, if I actually found one of these games, I would have been like, chat, check this out. Look at this creepy-ass game I found. We're going to deep dive into it and figure it out. <laughs> Thinking it's, like, an ARG or something, and it's just actually haunted. F... F... Ephotic, ephotic. Thank you for becoming a member. Much appreciated. What happened? Free content. To them? <laughs> I don't 
if they're alive anymore. I mean, maybe they are, but it's unlikely because I would have heard from them by now. And this, this game really tries to make it seem like these people died. Not in very pleasant ways either. I really don't want to think about it anymore, but Jesus. I, I genuinely don't know if digging deeper into this is the best decision, but curiosity is killing me right now. It's Shaw. Oh heavens, this place is so beautiful. Hi, Vaughn. Didn't expect to see you here. What are you doing here? Bro? Oh, I just really wanted to check on you and see if everything is all right. Aw, oh, that's so sweet from you. Like what? <sighs> However, I already finished my task, but you can stick around if you want. Aphatic? Aphotic? Aphotic? Aphotic. How about we play a game? That sounds fun. What would you like to play? What about hide and seek? Oh, I love that game. I'll hide. Great. This is gonna be fun. Sorry, I didn't mean to block the subtitles before chat. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. What? I need to find a sheep. Why the burger body? What is that on the top left? I'm also, my webcam's covering something that says E and M. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Alright, not in the forest. Oh! Look at the top right now. Hmm. E and M. I know one of the Walton's kids' names was Molly, right? Not sure about E though. Ed? I get have I met Ed yet? Do I know who Ed is yet? I don't think so. Yes, I have. Oh, I'm st Wait, I looked down. Oh, there, there was, there was nothing. My bad. I did Molly or Sophie's younger siblings. Oh, oh. All right, I'm keeping my webcam down here. I'm gonna have to keep moving it up and down, but keep who's on top right now. That was actually, wasn't this the one that was hanging up on the wall? Who was it, Ashley? When Ashley was in like the, the bunker place? And she was like, one of them's hanging up on the wall, which is kind of weird. It was my calls. That's how we found her. You found me. That was nice. I had so much fun playing with you. How about you hide now? Wait, 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 I don't want to hide. 
I don't want to hide. That's going to be so much scarier. Well, let's go. How, why are there ro were, were the roses on the road before or am I crazy? I might be crazy. Oh, hell no. Run, Soapy, run! Beautiful to you, Sophie. Uh, I know you found you. Oh. I know where he is, Rosie. Follow me. Nah, if the game called out my name like that. I think I, I, I don't know. I may have actually stopped playing at that point. the well have eyes Why is he smiling like that? Come one and come all. Welcome to my magic fountain of memories. Step right up and enter your most repressed experiences and get ready to be amazed by my magic. Let's take a small trip down memory lane, shall we? Tell me, what is it you would like to remember? Oh, she's actually writing? Who... Um... Who are... Ye... Uh... Ooh, who are you? I knew it. Good answer. Here goes nothing. Hello, I'm so glad you're here to help me clean the car maze. All that's left to do is check. Hello? Good 
Felix. Jeff, but what is it? Listen, I was, I was wondering if you could do me and Rose a small favor tonight. Uh, I, I don't know, Jack. Today's been nice. It's, it's about uh, an emoli. They have a school event tonight. A school party and they have no one to pick them up. I need to stay at the workshop to finish the paperwork and Rose is um, taking Sophie to the dentist. We were wondering if you could pick them up for the event and take them home later. To tonight? Yeah, if it's possible, of course. <laughs> Sure, I can do that. Really? Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks for both. Who, who is Jack on the phone with right now? This is Felix that he's on the phone with. I mean, you're the lifesaver, Felix. <laughs> it's nothing. Oh, yeah, All thanks. Right, so I don't even know why I paused. Five and get them home at night. Will she be home by then? If she's not, you call me. Better? Got it. I remember this conversation. For this memory seems to be buried deep within your mind. You must find them, Sophie. Oh my god, I gotta take a deep breath. That was this. Uh, this is... This just got so much deeper than I thought, and now I think I... I know what's happening. I recognize these faces, all of them. I, I know all of them. Wait, I'm sorry. I, I just need to go back to the conversation again. Sure, I can do that. Really? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so Felix is bringing Ed and Molly to a school event. And he's doing that because Jack has to stay at the workshop to finish up paperwork. And Rosemary, his wife, is bringing Sophie to the dentist. <laughs> Brighton High Spring Party, May 2nd, 1974. So that's the school event. Horror, 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 horror. for the school party, Molly. Come on. I'll be ready in a minute, Ed. I'm looking for Rocket. That old doll? Forget about it. We need to get ready. Uncle Felix will be here any minute. That's Ed and Molly. That's Ed and Molly. Found it. We can go now.
the school. Is that Rocket? Rocket, what the hell are you doing? Follow. Okay, say less. Fall out. Hmm. Spring party. We finally found Rocket. Now can we leave? Yeah, the school looks very creepy at night. Where's Uncle Felix anyways? He should be somewhere around here. We should look for him. Is that the bear in the background? Like the live guys, don't forget to like the live! Drinking zone. Oh no. Oh no. Is this going where I think it's going? Felix. Uncle Felix, what are you doing here? This is a drinking zone. You shouldn't be drink. It's okay. I'm really just feeling a little dizzy. It's getting very late. Your parents must be worried. Oh, nah, bro. Chat, what time is 21.53? Is that 10.53? No, I'm stupid. That's 9.53. Right? So weren't... What did Jack say? He wanted them home at 9, right? Pick them up at 5, bring them home at 9? Or did he say bring them home at 10? Hi, Maria. The Walton Files is just one big don't drink and drive PSA. Interesting. I had no idea that this, this element was in this. He said nine. Damn. And it's 9.53? Bro is late as hell. I would be livid if, like, listen, I know, I know Jack was asking him to do him a favor and all, but like, bro, I told you to have my kids back at nine. You're an hour late? How much is left till we get home? It's not much. Just, just, just kind of lost, I think. Uncle Felix? What are you drinking? M-Y-Q. Our teacher says drinking is not right. No, 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 I'm just... 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm just feeling busy. It's, it's not that big of a deal. All right. Number eight, five, three, one. We're, we're almost there. Don't you think you're driving too fast? Listen, I'm just, uh, uh, I'm just trying to get you to home. I'm just trying to get you to home quickly. All right. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I'm not feeling too good right now. I really just, just, I just want to lay in the bed and go to sleep. It's alright. We get that today wasn't the best for you. We understand. Everything is gonna be okay. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. Yeah, like, at this point, you're late, right? Like, might as well just take your time. <laughs> I mean, you're already an hour late. Oh, no, you got the bad ending. You couldn't finish the barn tasks in time. You crashed the car. You killed them. That's crazy. They didn't go home that night. He buried them here. He was too scared. But they found a way out eventually. That's why it shows them in on the side of the road in that game. Now they possess Rocket? Wait, so then what did he say to Jack? Uh, people asking how did Felix survive? It's like, um... It's like a pretty common thing that in drinking and driving scenarios when there's multiple people in the car, the driver will survive and like no one else in the car will. Sadly, it's like some, it's like a, it's a very weird thing. I've noticed that in a lot of stories. The drunk driver will usually survive if not with injuries and then everybody else in the car will die. It's very sad. You have 25 new messages. Felix, pick up the phone. Now, I need you to pick up the phone. It's been three hours since I told you to get Ed and Molly home. What happened to my children? If anything happened, Felix, you must tell me. You haven't told Thank you, chat. I didn't know that's actually why. It's because your bodies are more relaxed when you're drunk. That's interesting. Me too. Hours. I need to know what's going on. I'm trying to call you all night. What the hell is wrong with you? I... I've been trying to contact you all night. I've been calling everyone for you. But what the hell is wrong with you? Three hours, you didn't call. I asked you to do one simple favor for me. I need to know, where are they? Where did you...
Question though, who is um Buzu? Did I miss that? Did they say who Buzu was? Because Rocket is Ed and Molly, right? Are both in Rocket. And then Rosemary, Sophie's mom, is in Shaw. I did see the face when, when the phone showed. I did see that. Buzu is Charles. Copy. Oh, nah. Shout out Martin. Shout out to the voice actors too, they did a good job. Let me just make sure there's nothing else. I'm guessing that there isn't. Wow, a little BSI at the end there. All right, so chat, what's what's the next video in the series? Guilty? I just want to be sure. God damn, look at that chat. Look at that chat. That's crazy because it wasn't on screen. That was really cool. Guilty, yes. Okay, cool. And then what's... After guilty is Lacrimosa. Because I, I just want to go over like the main canon episodes. Oh, guilty then just four. Guilty four then Lacrimosa. Okay. Copy. All right, cool. I'm excited for that then. Um, I say that like we're not about to do it right now. Okay, so we'll watch guilty now So guilty for then lacrimosa. Okay, so the cool then we could just watch through the Walton files uh, playlist then Um, I thought I, so I'm not gonna lie Um, It was a bit of a slow start for me the Walton files in general, but after that one I'm invested. I know I want to know Cause now we know, we know that Felix got into a drunk driving accident with, um, with Molly and Ed. Molly and Ed died and now are inside Rocket. And then at some point, 
at some point Jack goes missing, Rosemary goes looking for him, and then Rosemary gets put into Shaw. I'm guessing Jack is Bon, right? Don't answer that, actually. Unless it's a yes. <laughs> What's the Gamersups thing again? 10% off on all orders of Gamersups uh, if you use code Immortal at checkout. There is also a, um, there's a stream alert that comes on when you do it, too. And it's a new jump scare sound. Or the jump scare sound that we chose yesterday. There you go, the link is in chat. Jack Walton is actually Jack Walton, thank you. Cool, cool. Um... Yeah, so I'm curious to know, like, what happens immediately after that then. Like, I want to know what Felix told Jack, or, like, what the immediate next steps that were taken. Yeah, like, how, like, if Jack is Bond, then how did he become Bond? Clearly, like, something had to have happened for that. So I'm wondering if we'll find that out. Um, I'm guessing guilty is going to be about Felix being guilty for what he's done. So... All right, we're back. Oh my God, my mic almost fell. Did you see that? Uh, I gotta tighten this thing. I like playing with it too much. I like just, I, I used to have, um. what is going on down here? Why is there like a bright light? I don't like that, that's bothering me. Why is this here? All right, well anyway, Um, holy moly. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Wash my hands. Why would I ever do that? Of course I wash my hands. I wash them like extremely fast now because you guys get so angry when I go pee. Because you guys are so mean. Jeez. Uh, I'm trying to look at all the alerts and stuff. Last Breath Sands. Love your videos, man. Keep going. Might be for super chatting during the game. I had to deal with some Apple ID shenanigans. No problem. I'm sorry. It ended up not going off anyway because I do have the alerts um, muted while we're watching now. Just because I don't want to interrupt. But I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you so much, Last Breath Sands. AED. What currency is that, chat? What is AED? And Toxicality. Thank you for the dollar super chat. Luxium, thank you for the $2 super chat. Ooga booga, robots that look like they drink drink lean. Yeah, they do look a little high. They do look a little high. Muscle check. Chat, I'm not gonna lie. I've been slacking in the gym. Some of you guys know that I was I was going crazy like a little while ago in the gym, but I've been slacking because I've been just working so much. But fine. Uh, you know, I still, I still got a little bit left. Just a, just a little tiny bit. Nothing too crazy, though. <laughs> I was, I actually had, like, something going on, like, in October. <laughs> and then I took, when the plush came out, I, like, st tried to start working more and more on videos and stuff. And it just... Also goes away so fast, man. We gotta, we gotta go back to the gym, though. We gotta go back to the gym. We gotta get back in action. The Dead Studio, thank you for your $2 super chat. I love all your videos. Thank you so much, Dead Studio. I appreciate that support. Toxicality, thank you for that gifted membership. I don't know if I said that before, too. And Toxicality, you also asked, how does one become a chat moderator, uh, moderator again? We currently aren't looking for any, any new moderators. We might um, possibly have some for just YouTube chat, but we're going to see. We'll see. Because YouTube chat's been getting crazier and crazier. But we'll see. We'll see. Drop and give me 50. Not right now, brother. <laughs> um, yeah, I could I could definitely lift up queso, no problem. Watch the analog horror gubby. Don't worry, I will. It's on my list. It's on my list. I'm waiting for more. Um, I'm waiting for more episodes to come out though. Cause I know only five episodes are out right now and they're they're very short. Very, very short. Um, lay, lay, lay mockery. Thank you for the five dollars super chat. Evil Marcus be like, I will produce a low quality content very slowly. 
yeah i would i that's that's my i i hate releasing that's that's why i privated the last stream i felt like it was just low quality stream content and i did not want anybody to watch that because if i was a viewer and i saw that stream that would it would put me so off i would not want to watch that what does gamer sub taste like it tastes like like fireworks but in your mouth and like in a good way not in a way like it's gonna burn it's really good you should try <laughs> no they, they have several different flavors i have not found a flavor that i haven't liked yet i've tried the cursed energy flavor the blue flavor lemonade i've tried titty milk and arctic cooler i've liked all of them so far i really have not found a flavor i haven't liked so i definitely recommend recommend you you like find a flavor that you know you'll like like if you like lemonade obviously get lemonade and then uh try it out because it's definitely it's definitely really really good and 10 percent off using code immortal and check out yes chat it's um it's j schlatt's flavor w camera it actually focused um yeah it's actually really good i think it's my favorite flavor actually they got strawberry lemonade i'm actually not sure i'd have to i'd have to check and get back to you on that marcus can you see me no any flavor recommendations teddy milk better than regular milk <laughs> It's like I forget I forget the exact description. It's like I always describe it horribly. But it's it's very good. It's very very good. It's my Am I almost out? No, I'm pretty I'm pretty low though. You could see how low it is. <laughs> but they got a lot of funky flavors. They got like a lot of funny, uh, a lot of funny flavored titles that I wanna, I wanna try out. Marcus, your thoughts on Ed Sheeran? I, there are a lot of Ed Sheeran songs I do like. I am an Ed Sheeran fan. I'm not a huge fan, but I do like a lot of songs from him. Castle on the Hill, fire. There's a fine Jack Walton website. We will have to look into that. All right, I'm going to read off some of the some of the last super chats and then we're going to and then we're going to watch guilty. Do you want to sit with the 50? I'm sorry, I missed that. Since we accusing people now, I'm sure Jack is guilty because he mugged me. I wonder where my $50 is at. Yeah, it was definitely Jack. It was definitely it was Jack that took your 50. It was definitely Jack that took your 50. For sure. Thank you. Do you want to sit? I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you so so much. Oh, Ob Obamium, with the T R Y fifty five. What currency is T R Y? It's actually really cool when I see like the different. I didn't even like. I've never heard of T T R Y before. Thank you for the super chat though. Hello, Marcus. How are you doing? How are? You? Hope you are doing well. On a past stream, you said you are working on multiple videos. Please don't rush or overwork yourself. Much love. I appreciate that. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm I'm still taking my time with them because I don't I don't want to rush them out or anything. Um, but I'm it's it's hard because I want to get them out so bad. But I also don't want to rush content either. So it's like trying to balance both, which is can be a bit hard. Thank you so much though for the super chat. Wackus Wackus Bunkus. With the five, the one oh that's I did read that before. That's the junk uh Walton Files is one just <laughs> drink and drive piece PSA. Adrian, thank you for the two. Hi Marcus Brazilian fan living in Portugal out here. That's pretty cool. From Portugal is awesome. Thank you so much for the two. It's always sick to see where you guys are from in the world. And Luxium, bro got the edition available when you Bro Ow, I just hit myself in the face with the mic. Bro got the edition available when you were baby? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? And the insult, thank you for the five. You should check on Dr. Nowhere. He's slowly starting a series. It's pretty well made. Also, also on the BR back screen is that you exploring. Yes, that was me during the urban exploring days. That was back recorded in like 2018, I think. 
maybe one day we'll watch that video together like the actual full video of that of that starting The Solitude Stigma, hello. How are you? Am I okay? Yes. Head dent check? All right. I actually don't think I have a bad head. It works. <laughs> it works. <sighs> <laughs> Turn that off, someone said. <laughs> that is the gamer subs purchase jump scare. So every time someone buys gamer subs with Cody Mortal and we are live streaming, that happens. I actually wasn't sure if it was gonna get me, and it did. <laughs> I actually think it's loud it's louder for me than it is for you guys. I have it at 50% for you. This is the sound that you guys voted for. Darkstar, thank you for becoming a member. Much appreciated, friend. Hope you're doing well, Darkstar. What happens if you buy multiple? It's it's only like one per order. One scare per order. I mean, but if you place multiple orders, it would be multiple scares. We really haven't tested the limits on it, so... Put it to 100? No, you guys would hate me. <laughs> Everybody would leave. All right, we're going to jump back in now. The Walton Files, guilty. Thank you to whoever purchased that, by the way. It doesn't it doesn't show the name of whoever purchased it because um, um, GamerSubs doesn't like like doxing or anything like that. So it doesn't want to show like a full name of whoever placed the order. So it's never going to do that. But I think it did it show what they ordered on the screen. I think it should have showed what they ordered. Oh, the head den check. You're right. Kitten Dragon, thank you for becoming a member. All right, here we go, chap. Wait, I gotta look and see what it what it looked like. <laughs> it's so towards the back because I wear my headset like kind of towards the back. <laughs> it's not so bad. Let's relax. Let's relax. It is not that bad. Okay. Compared to other streamers who have done that, other streamers do that and their head literally looks like a freaking the Grand Canyon got put in there. That was not that bad, okay? I'm curious though, like if I went bald, would there actually be a dent there or not? I feel like my hair definitely helps um, help with the dent. Like it just dents the hair mostly, but I wonder, you know, what is it, Tyler1? I've Tyler ones is crazy. Bro's head is actually morphed by the headphones. His is wild. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> let me see if I can pull it up. Tyler one. <laughs> like this is crazy chat. Look at that dent, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. What's even funnier is this this <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> Someone edited it to make it look worse. <laughs> That's a yikes. That is a yikes. <laughs> Could never be me though. All right. Here we go. The Wad Files guilty. Captions are on. The volume is maxed. Lights are still on. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Archive. Daisy, thank you for the $10 super chat. Much appreciated. Company greeting, 4-15-1967. Oh, so we going way back. Hello, my name is Felix Franken. I just want to greet all of you to the company. Me and my friend Jack are both very excited about working with all of you. Here at Bunny Smiles, we believe that all it takes to achieve our dreams is hope. Would you like to achieve this dream with us? Great! 
As of now, our team isn't very big, just like our budget. But hey, we have hope, and in my opinion, that's all that matters. Marcus is King Neptune from the Spongebob movie is crazy, Cumulus. December message. Greetings, Felix here. I really just wanted to give all of you dedicated BSI employees a small farewell message. Hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year's Eve. I hope to see all of you in a few months. It's crazy how far we've made it. Just everything, really. The Cyberfund tech deal, the Bonds Burgers project, it's incredible. I never thought I, we, would have made it far, and I'm proud of all of us. Y'all should feel proud too, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of you next year. Oh, this is the date of the accident. After the car crash. <laughs> you killed them, Felix PewDiePie. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> All right, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Messed up. <laughs> you messed up? You messed up? You killed two children while drunk driving. You messed up? It's been so long since I last used one of these. Last time I used this, I was driving in, in the same conditions. I, I, I messed up. I, I have a problem, and uh, and this has been a problem for so long that I, I can't even remember the, the first time I, I got drunk. I I don't remember most stuff. <laughs> That, that's that's probably why I carry this this recorder with me. So, that that's probably why I'm recording this in the first place. Because <laughs> I know I know I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll think this is all just a nightmare. <laughs> that and Molly are okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but <laughs> but they're mad. They're not. They were just children. <laughs> Jack. Oh God, what am I gonna tell Jack? He he would be devastated. <laughs> that that's why I buried him. Just, just the idea of Jack seeing what happened to him. Jack's been the best friend I've ever had. I'd, I'd never do that to him. That's the point when the when that accident occurred. I just, I just panicked and I buried him in the forest. Say Juana, say Juana forest, the forest next to the the road. Oh, that's the, the same road place where the, the bunker is. Occurred. I, I, I can't even, I can't even remember where I buried him. So fuck. What am I going to do now? The restaurant's going to open next month. Sorry. Everything's not gonna be fine, bro. <laughs> hey, Rocket.
Local 57. Mr. Marvin, this is Christine Marshall reporting to Eyewitness at 9. Now, what you're looking at originated as a small, run-down, mom-and-pop business. If you're among the small brain community, you may have heard of Long's Burgers, a well-known entertainment center that, in fact, hosted birthday parties and events in this very building. Now, if you know about this place, you also probably know about the infamous reasons its run was so short-lived. Four months ago, around the summertime, the <coughs> place opened its doors to the public for the first time, and less than a month later, it would shut its doors to public permanently. But why and how? Let's find out. My kid went there a few months ago to celebrate his birthday party. I remember only a few months later, all those rumors would appear. Oh, I don't go there. Oh, it's haunted. But frankly, I never believe in those stuff myself. I just think it was a neat place, but hey, everyone can believe what they want, I guess. As we interview the people around town, one thing becomes more and more evident. Barnsburger supposedly held a lot of secrets. As soon as this little burger joint opened its doors, a strange and disturbing chain of disappearances began to unravel, all linked to one specific pattern, its parent company, Bunny Smells Incorporated. Six total missing reports filed around the summer, all equally stressful and intriguing. I believe it reached a breaking point when Jack Walton, the co-founder, was declared missing. He must have come to that place at least ten times in those two weeks alone. Then three more missing reports about missing employees. I disapprove, however, the spectacle you people have been making about real disappearances. You know, it's disheartening, and uh, I don't wish to comment on anything else. Soon, the urban legends would originate. Ghost stories about missing employees, presumed dead, haunting the establishment. Soon, all sorts of reports would appear. Loud music being played late in the night, way past the restaurant's closing time. Car alarms and lights being kept on around midnight, confusing many people nearby and causing them to keep a close eye on the place. However, it all culminated on the night of July 19th. As witnesses state, there were blood-curdling screams of an adult woman heard around 2 to 3 a.m. Once the police arrived and broke into the restaurant, no one was inside. A few days later, the place shut down due to budget reasons. Allegedly, at least. But the urban stories say much different. It's suspected that those screams belong to one Rosemary Walton, a woman that disappeared earlier that same day, never to be found. After some time, the building has been deemed condemned. Nobody really seems interested in using this space as the drawing stories and theories are believed to drive people away. Only break-ins and vandalizing occur inside this defunct building. Though these theories still remain, that those disappearances still taunt the aura of this very place, and whatever the truth may be, the disturbing presence of Bonds Burgers has... Spoiler, my bad. I'm still here. All right. I'm actually happy we watched that one. You could you could very much see the style like developing as the series go on goes on. Like every video gets better and better, like the quality of the style and everything, it, it gets so much better as, as it goes on. And we just saw like the first the first 40 seconds of the Walton Files 4. On to the new one. I would stream future parts of this, yeah. Come 
on, Molly. Let's go. This way. Cyber Fun Tech. The quality is so much higher in this. On everything. On the effects, animation, the whole nine is just so much better already. Video menu, Bonds Burgers promo, Cyber Fun programming demo, Shaw joint movement, BSI cleaning procedure. Is this going to read this or am I going to have to pause? I'm going to pause and read it anyway. Charles Brook, 10-10-1970. Hi, just got hired officially as the computer supervisor for Unnamed Bunny Smiles Restaurant. Though I've been coming up with RGW names my Oh, I've been coming up with a few names myself. I've known these guys for a while. They're family. I've done some work for them along with Susan for years now, even before Cyber Fun Tech, getting to meet the Waltons and the Crankins has been super fun. So excited to get to work. The future is bright. Bonds babies, come join the party. I think they're just made to sing songs. It's not like gender related.
After after we watch this video, someone remind me to do sock check. Cyberfun Tech to bring the magic of Bonds Burgers to life. Today, we'll take a journey through the magic of the showstoppers and how they were created. You might learn a thing or two about the quality of our company. Great. Concept art. Showstoppers, the face of Bunny Smiles Inc. Concept art is a very vital part of any good design. So many different ideas to. The Bunny Smiles Incorporated art department was in charge of pitching up multiple designs for the characters and creating the designs we all know and love. Rosemary Walton, loving wife of is a brilliant artist with a huge passion for poetry and the theatrical and has done numerous art pieces before becoming the lead artist in BSI. She's the one in charge of making the final designs that would later become the characters they are today. I think I always had a pretty clear idea of how each character looked like in my mind. The designs just made sense to me. I wanted to make them seem appealing to younger audience Still being simple enough, so they can be easy to remember. I hate Billy the Clown, man. Bunny Smiles originally reached Cyberfront to make their blueprints for the animatronics. But we all got so invested to the idea that we decided to have a full partnership with BSI. I'm Susan Wicks, the lead technical engineer of Bunny Smiles. For Susan's the one that's in Banny, right? We added a ton of features into the models. We managed to even make them have their ability to walk and interact with the audience. Like, the teeth just seem so extra to me. with the audience, etc. That's how they managed to feel so lifelike to our audience. The console is also able to recognize specific people and places. Uh, hold up. The BSI console, the Bunny Smiles Incorporated console allows the robots? of Bonds Burgers feel a lot more lifelike and allow for a more fun and imp impressions experience, impressive experience, impressing experience. I think I can't read it all. Some of the words are a little hard. I think the th this is an ambitious and 
innovating concept I would have never expected to make in my life. What the hell? I did not even know you could do this. You could scroll like that? That's crazy. Anyway, uh, Susan did not disappoint at all. Absolutely stunning and delicate work. Jack has... Wireless? It said wireless at one point? Yeah, there was some merit text. So we'll go back to that. Jack was fascinated. Never seen anything like it. Felix was both amazed and scared. He doesn't understand he doesn't understand a thing about how it works week one Benny knocked over the table rework room recognizing feature test went well recognized Sophie right away magic trick bit went well feeling rusty but getting do better next time. Week two, Benny fixed. Test one as planned. Mask broke from last incident. So the bots have recognition. Cyber Fun Tech. Chat, I have to pee again. Can you believe that? What is the Cyber Fun Console? Walk around test. Yeah, don't worry. It's working. First, we need to. Is the console on? Yes. Yes, Charles. I just told you. All right. All right. Uh, I'm just checking if everything's going. I know. Don't worry, this isn't the first test we need to do with the robots. Alright, great. You're taking notes, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I am. Right. <clears throat> test 203, movement. Movement. Alright. Alright, so, but let me get the console working. Working? Yeah. Alright, this is how it's supposed to go. We place the tunnel objects around the room. The animatronic is supposed to get to us without bumping into any of the tables, boxes, chairs, etc. Sounds good to me. What happens if the robot falls or comes across any object? Well, then we're just going to have to test this out again until we get this right. It'll be a long night then. <laughs> you said it. But all right, everything seems fine so far. Should the robot be so close to the table? I don't think oh, I'm going to Fuck, I'm sorry for that. Fuck, I told you to watch for the table, man. Well, damn it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Bro fell into the table. <laughs> what kind of fuck is that? Uh, where's the wrench? I'll uh, check the drawer. I think you got that. Facial tracking. March 7th, 1974. I don't know I know, I know. I'm just uh, a little worried. <sighs> did Linda call? She did, yeah. I'm going to be totally honest with him. Knowing Felix, he's probably drinking somewhere in town. Does Jack or uh, Rose know? Nope. I don't think Linda told them that either. Susan, we have to tell them. I think even Chris knows about the addiction. Let's just fix some work for now, shall we? Right. So, uh, I'm checking my notes right now. What's up to this? Well, Norman said we should start testing the facial tracking feature. Fine, fine. I'll go to the bathroom real quick. I'll, I'll be really quick. <laughs> Hold on. I have a really small bladder, and I drink way too much water throughout the day. Actually, I drink a good amount of water, but I just have a small bladder. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're going to have the robot walk around and see if it recognizes our faces. Why don't we check that already? Jack brought in Molly here and the council recognized them. 
Well, yeah, but we're going to do a secondary test because the console seems to have trouble detecting the Python. Oh, the test we did with Sophie, right. Mm-hmm. I see how the test goes. How's Lily, by the way? She's fine. Spending time with the mother for the weekend. That's cool. Susan Woodings. That's kind of like the face tracking from the first episode, I guess. Or that's that's what the thing in the first episode is when it shows the face. Right? That's got to be the same thing. It looks exactly the same right there. Charles Brook. Ah, great. Everything seems to be working properly. Huh. So that means no more testing for today? Yep, pretty much. Ah, uh, sweet. I could really use a beer right now. Reminds me of what we were talking about earlier. Ah, uh, yeah. Who is this creepy ass kid in the corner? <laughs> ah! I skipped by accident, my bad. What does that mean? That's what I heard, man. He was drunk while driving the car? Tell me your voice, all right? Do you know what down some weeks ago? They didn't tell us? It was private, Charles. Only the family were there. Fuck. How's Jack holding up? Haven't heard of him in a long while. I barely even see him at work. You don't think Felix's story... ...why, don't you? A story? I think it's bullshit. I think something else happened to man. What was I his story? God. Is gone? Molly and Ed? Listen, I don't even want to think about it. Give me that freaking fucking doll in the room. What's it doing here? I feel like it is. Tell us not to tell Jack or Rose is here. Shit. I don't even want to be involved in this shit anymore. Alright, let's just try it the same way. This is fucked up. I don't even want to make it. Damn. Let's, let's just check up on the other rooms for now. All right, let's see what moves. Rocket. So Felix brought Rocket back to the place? Why? So the bot is still recognizing faces. Oh, ESI technical support, audio log number three, June 30th and... Uh, oh, oh, 
Who the hell is that? Hey, Rocket. This is the day after, after the, the car accident. Is that Jack? Thank you. 
we have. So maybe drive over there, Felix. Felix, Felix, if you do anything to those kids, I'll fucking kill you. If you remember this story, this is the... This is the party! So we know that he kind of told some a different kind of story, right? Because Susan says like, like she she said that she didn't buy the story that he said, and it looks like he's getting rid of evidence now. Throwing this bag in the water like that, he buried their bodies, and he doesn't even remember where he buried them. So I'm curious to know what he said to Jack. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to punch you guys there. Yeah, he was gonna, he was gonna just walk off. Three days after the accident. I haven't been able to sleep since last week. I finally told him what happened. It, it was in my office. Those were, it was the longest hour of my life. The most painful conversation I've ever had pain in their eyes, the, the anger. They both hate me now. And I, I don't blame them. I have no idea what, what's going to happen to me now. My life, my business, everything. But, but the, fact, the fact they're still buried down there, it haunts me every night. Heat me up inside. <clears throat> Rosemary asked about the doll. I, I told her they, they that they left it at school. That was a lie. I don't know what to do with the doll. Wherever I go, there it is, and I can't get myself to get rid of it. It's like a constant reminder of this huge mistake, and how there's nothing I can do to make it better. 
Oh my god, in the window. July 1st. Quick, she's in here, Molly. I, I don't think we should. He saw what he did to her. He hurt her. He made her bleed. I don't want her to be hurt anymore. It's not fair. Molly, that's not our problem. Please, Ed. We have to find her. She doesn't deserve this. We have to. Fine, but be quiet. Is that Susan? I can hear you, Susan. I'm here. Where are you? Please, where am I? Don't you worry. You're in safe. Susan, welcome to Wonderland, your new home, isn't it beautiful? Dead? No, 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 no. Not yet, at least. Your heart is still beating. But your body is now functionless. Out there, you're slowly suffocating. But here, you're safe. The spirit doesn't pass on quite as fast as the body does. I would know. Let 
pleasure to meet you. My name is Tom, and you're Susan. I've had my eye on you. I know you very well, my friend. I know you like to fix things, isn't that right? Well, so do I. Wouldn't you like me to fix you? What are you talking about? Perhaps I could help you. Here, a gift. Take a look inside. That is the new you. A wonderful gift that will eventually become your new body. Just like a beautiful butterfly bursting from a cocoon. You will be reborn. You don't have to listen to me. That is up to you. But what other choice do you have? A spirit can survive without being tethered to a vessel. I know you're scared. I was too. But everything will be Apologies for what I had to do to you. But look, the hard part is over with now. Besides, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. He's gone. They're both gone. How are we going to protect her now? Will she be all right? I... I don't know. We just have to wait, okay? All right. Come on, Molly. Let's go. To be continued in part two. Comrade Clown, thank you. I will read the description in a second. All right, here, I'm going to read the description for this. Uh, tape four, here we go again, mystery solvers. Co COVID cooled down, and after three years, we finally got my aunt's VCR to work. I have so much to say, but I'm going to start off with the technical stuff first. Back when I found the Bunny Farm tapes, I was met with a dead end. Bunny Smiles Incorporated slash Bond Burgers gave no more results. 
Locals had no more info. I went back to Connecticut to live with my dad. That was until my friend David approached me with an amazing find. David decided to ask locals about the terms Walton instead. Apparently, that's the name that pops up a lot in the tapes. Haven't watched the tapes myself, lol. We were directed to a vintage strip mall that had one bowling alley, Stanley's. Originally, there was a workshop in that building instead, and when they moved everything out and Star... Starley's, my bad, not Stanley's. Originally, when there was a... Originally, there was a workshop in that building instead, and when they moved everything out and Starley's bought the space, one locker renamed labeled Walton. Inside a box with a cheap safe, apparently the box was sat there for decades because they haven't managed slash bothered to open it. Me, Ron, and David did some digging through the previous tapes and noticed the pattern. The code was 722. Curious. Inside, there was a total of 23 tapes. I moved back to Brighton, Michigan to help my friends fix, clean, and compile, and compile these tapes into what we call the Cyber Fun Tech Collection. This is part one of three. Cyber Fun Tech is a company that funded and created most BSI projects. It's unclear whether CT owned BSI or whether they were simply partner companies, but perhaps CT bought BSI at some point. Either way, all the tapes are labeled Cyber Fun Tech, and supposedly they were supposed to be handed over to technicians and artists. I should note some bits of the compilation are weird. On some screens, it would appear as minutes and minutes of empty static, and on other screens, it would appear to be a white screen with faint voices heard on them. As for me, I'm doing great. The past three years were filled with some of my happiest and saddest moments, but I'm still standing. I'm going on vacation with my girlfriend for a few weeks. I'll post parts two and three when I return at the end of the month. Anthony. Sock check. All right, chat. I'm going to be real with you. I'm wearing regular black ankle socks right now, but I will put on special socks for you. Give me one second. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to talk while I put on the new socks. I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit confused, which I think I should be. Definitely confused about the bond part. The dude, seriously, though, the um. The quality level has risen so, so high in this one. The animations were really cool. The part where Susan is killed is pretty sick. It was pretty cool. I definitely like the animation at the beginning of uh, Ed and Molly at the school, too. And when Jack shows up to Felix's house, that was also really cool. There's a hidden message. All right, here we go, chat. Dragon Ball socks. I got the Dragon Balls on them. <laughs> They're a classic. <laughs> Hidden message time. Now removed. All right, the socks are not getting removed. I can't give you guys that. That's behind a paywall. <laughs> um, what what hidden message are we talking about? All right, here we go. Lacry Lacrimosa. Probably pronouncing that wrong. All right. The description for this one says: Report nine zero eight nine two, May fourth, nineteen seventy four, Brighton City Police Department. W R R Frank Davis. Felix Archer Crankin reportedly arrived at the station in the morning on May 3rd. He had a broken pair of glasses, dirty blue pants, and a yellow dress shirt covered in dirt and blood. When I got the call, he was already taken into custody. We sat him down for a few hours and he revealed valuable information about a case we were previously told about earlier the same day by Mr. Jack Walton. Walton's two youngest kids, Ed and Molly Walton, had disappeared with Crankin the night prior. Felix's alibi stated he was unconscious for about 20 minutes when he woke up the kid had ran off all right let's watch it um there are no there are no actual captions for this one they're only auto generated but i will keep the auto generated ones on 
let me just make them a little smaller. Clear Hill River, May 4th, 1974. What is the Cyberfun console? With all the vital information of the Bond's burgers animatronics, the console contains the main patterns for the robot's movements and interactions with the customers. The console allows the animatronic to have advanced interactions with the audience, most notable one being the walk-around feature, which allows the character to roam around the place. For safety protocols, the console allows the robot to visualize its surroundings. This avoids the character falling, bumping onto objects or even customers. This feature is called map tracking, and it works as a basic radar for the animatronic. The map tracking feature records audio for safety reasons. Once the console is removed from the mech, technicians are allowed to see the recording from the animatronic's perspective. If any console recording contains any error or faulty programming, please contact Charles Brooke. for defining facial features. This technology is still a little faulty and in testing phases, as the console can only detect a limited amount of combinations, which means a person could easily... Hello. Uh, I'm, I'm calling to inform uh, m my, my colleague, or well, my friend, Susan, hasn't shown up in a few days. I contacted her family, and they say they also haven't heard from her. We're all really worried over here that something may have happened to her. Apparently she was here on the 30th, but I'm not sure. I called in sick that day. Please, if anyone has any information, call me. Please. Um, flash warning? Flash warning? Flash warning. <laughs> nah, that's actually crazy, dude. That visual of her, like, stuck in the suit like that? Yeah, whatever is possessing Vaughn bon is definitely terrifying.
she trying to leave? Yeah, bro, at least clean up the back of the suit. Come on. What the hell is that? I don't know what to really think or say. There's a lot that I'm confused about. I definitely think I would have to rewatch the series like a few times to get everything together. Maybe try to put everything in order the best I could. But I'm definitely invested. This is one of those series that gets better the more and more you watch. That one in Files 4 was very impressive. That was very, very good. And I and you guys said five and six are releasing this month too, right? Or very soon. Yeah, I'm definitely confused about a lot. But regardless, even though I'm confused, it's still like very entertaining to watch and very, very creepy vibes. And I'm sure, you know, as time goes on, more and more will become clear, you know. The analog horror, nothing's ever clear from the jump, really. It's all like stuff you gotta figure out slowly over time and or it's revealed to you over time. But um I think if five and six are both coming out this month, I think after five and six are released, I'll stream it again and we'll watch five and six on stream. You know, I think I think that would be a, I think that'd be fun to do. So I definitely um, I definitely enjoyed that, though. I'm happy that we got to watch. I'm very happy that we got to watch that. So, but I think I think we are going to end it off there for today. This has been quite a long stream, quite a long stream, a stream, two hours and 40 minutes. Oof. Um, Like I said, though, we will be basically putting this entire stream and a mix of the last stream into one long VOD like video that will go up on Thursday. So if you didn't get to see the beginning of the one files or if you want to see my reaction to the beginning of it, don't worry. We're going to put that stream and this stream in one long video for everybody to watch. It'll be very loosely edited. So it's just going to be like you're watching the stream normally, just with like a few of the crappy things cut out that happened during the first stream. But wow, that was good. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Like I said, I'm still very confused about a lot of the story, but I'm invested. I want to continue watching it. I could see why it's one of the classics. And the, you could definitely tell there's a lot, a lot of effort put into this series, which is what I like to see. So you can definitely see the quality just raises the further the series goes along. So I'm very excited to see what five and six are like, and I guess we'll get to see them in another stream soon. Thank you so much to everybody that came through. I'm just going to try to read off a few more super chats that we got. Uh, Judas, thank you for the five. La Cremosa is Latin for tears, as in crying. Also a song by Mozart. Great stream. Hit the like button. Yes. What Judas said, guys, if you guys didn't hit the like button, please, please do. It'll still help. It'll still help stream stats and whatnot. I'll leave this VOD up publicly so that people can watch it and whatnot uh, in case they want to watch it before the actual Thursday video drops. Um, Mo. 
Thank you for the five. Marcus, you give off Long Island Italian vibes. Mamma mia. Well, I am from Long Island and I am Italian. So I guess that's pretty accurate. <laughs> is there any more Gabby videos? No, there is not. Not as far as I know. Maybe there will be more in the future. Uh, there aren't any right now, though. Um, Laza, thank you for the five. All right, chat, get to work. Get this man his 100k for the good. <laughs> If you guys donate 100k if you guys donate 10k you'll get a toe i will show you a toe for sure <laughs> comrade clan again thank you for the two lacrimosa's description very important we did read it before uh and thank you for telling me to read the descriptions in general because I, I wasn't going to read them at first so thank you for reminding me uh nb thank you for the two dollars the white thing appeared on the bond billboard i will have to go back and take a look at that and thank you for the other two dollars by the way as well uh spider thank you for the two dollar super chat i'm sorry for calling you mark yesterday it's okay it's all right you're forgiven rosemary thank you for the five uh banana boys thank you for the five w what playing apex legend ranked does to a motherfucker ah damn i don't even know what scene it was when that came up i'm sure it was something horrible though <laughs> Marcus, would you consider covering Little Red's transfer at some point? I've never heard of that. If if you guys put in the Discord in the analog hard suggestions, feel free to tag me. I'll take a look at it. I've never heard of that before. Yensel, thank you for the two. Don't tempt me. I don't have the money. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking, guys. You're never going to see the toes. That's just a fact. All right. I think that was all of the Super Chats. Yeah. I think that was all of them. I don't think I missed any. But thank you guys to everybody that came out to the stream today. Thank you for everybody that became members and super chatted. I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, a new video will be out tomorrow. This video on the Walton Files with the previous stream will be out on Thursday. And then Friday may or may not be a video. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and yeah, there will definitely be another video at some point over the weekend. But thank you guys so much for coming through. I appreciate your support. Today's stream was so, so much better than yesterday's. I had such a great time. Uh, also, don't forget, if you are interested in gamer subs or trying out any of their project or products, uh, they do have different kinds of drinks that you can get, different kinds of flavors. They have ramen now. They have like little protein bars, little snack bars. Uh, they have shirts and they have a ton of different all cool anime styled merch if you guys want to check it out. Uh, but you can go use code Immortal to get 10% off at checkout. The link to it is in the description down below and in chat right now. Thank you, mods. So if you guys want to check it out, feel free. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming through to the stream today. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys again soon. Peace.